What's up guys, we're here in Ericeira, Portugal for about two weeks and in this video we're going to show you the best things to do in the town and around it. It's really becoming a popular destination mainly due to surfing but also just for its laid-back atmosphere so we're excited to show you this video. We are Zach and Ina, full-time digital nomads from the United States and Belgium. We met while studying abroad in 2018 and have been traveling the world together ever since. We're here to inspire your next adventure, whether it's hiking in the Canadian Rockies, a road trip through the US, or backpacking across Africa. On our channel, you'll find unfiltered videos of hiking guides and the best things to do in destinations around the world. Ericeira is a small coastal town located 50 kilometers from the Portuguese capital of Lisbon. It's often referred to as the surfing capital of Europe with surfers from all over the world heading to its golden sand and rocky beaches with great conditions. But apart from its surf scene, Ericeira is also becoming increasingly popular among travelers. This is due to its amazing sunsets, beautiful coastline, and relaxing yoga vibes. We'll now dive into the seven things to do in and around Ericeira. At number seven, we recommend walking through the historic town itself. Even though Ericeira is no longer the traditional fishing village that it once was, it's been able to retain its authentic character. With traditional white houses and cobbled streets, it's fun to walk around the town and just get lost in the narrow alleys. There's also a wide selection of great restaurants and bars. Our top picks include Amor Soul Cafe for happy hour drinks, Pepe Verde for pizza, and Purple Ice for its acai bowls. Since Ericeira is located on the west coast of Portugal, it has some amazing sunset views over the ocean. One of the best sunset spots is right in the town center above Pescadores Beach. From here, you can see the whole beach and take in the beautiful orange, red, and pink colors. Another fun thing to do in Ericeira is to visit the Board Riders Quicksilver. It's located right outside the town and next to its skate park. But even if you're not interested in skateboarding, it's a fun place to hang out, especially on Friday nights. With live music, food and drinks, surfers and travelers come here to chill and socialize. Located about 15 kilometers from Ericeira, Tapada da Mafra is a recreational space that was once used by the Portuguese royal family as a hunting ground. Nowadays, it's turned into a lush forest, inhabited by wild animals such as deer and wild boars. It's a great place for hiking, horseback riding, and simply enjoying nature. Surrounded by a 21 kilometer stone wall, this place has an official entrance and is only open during the day. You have to pay five euros to get in, and there are multiple trails that you can follow once you're in there. A more popular place to visit in Mafra is its National Palace. You can combine this activity after a hike at Tapada de Mafra on the same day, or do it as a day trip from Ericeira on its own. Built in the 18th century on the orders of King John V, this palace covers an area of nearly 40,000 square meters. There are endless rooms, an opposing basilica, and a library that you can visit. In fact, the library is thought to be one of the most beautiful in the entire world. We just visited the palace of Mafra, but you can also visit the gardens, which are just right next to it, and it's for free. So you can just walk around it, and it's really beautiful. If 
there's something you can't miss in Ericera, it's definitely the beaches. Pescadores and Sol are two sandy beaches close to the center of town. But if you prefer more quiet beaches and don't mind driving out of town, there are also tons of other great options. You cannot leave Ericera without having surfed at least once. Ericera was recognized as one of the best surf destinations in the world, when two of its beaches were classified as a world surfing reserve. But if you're new to surfing, we recommend taking a few surf lessons at the beaches with smaller waves. We joined a surf class at Matadoro Beach, which had decent waves for beginners, but actually had a rocky bottom, so be careful if you fall off. And that's it for our video on Ericeira, Portugal. We also have videos about Lisbon and Sintra, which are worth checking out since both locations are close enough to visit on a day trip. For more information, such as how to get to Ericeira, the best time to visit, and to download the actual maps used in this video, check out our blog link in the description. We'll catch you on the next adventure.